What's up everyone? My name's Evan Marion. I got this bass like 15 years ago. And you know when you play something for, for so long, you really get to learn the subtleties of like moving and shifting your hand around and what that does to affect the tone. Before we dive in, I want to tell you guys something. There's no sponsors for these videos and I'd kind of like to keep it that way. Like the last thing I want to be telling you guys is like a Squarespace discount code. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've just like watched too many YouTube videos where Squarespace is the sponsor, but I do need support. So if you like to support this channel, please join my Patreon page. So you'll get a special thanks in the description of these videos. You'll get early access to these videos. You'll get extra goodies as well. So all right, let's talk tone. I'm using my signature string set from GHS, which are stainless steels, 35 through 121. I'll put a link to the strings down below in the description. So this is a two band preamp. It's active, so it does uh, need a battery. <laughs> and most of the time I actually forget to change the battery and then it kind of goes more into like a passive vibe. But anyway, this is a two band preamp. Uh, you got treble and bass, pickup blend and a uh, volume knob. The treble knob on this bass, I end up rolling it all the way back. So pretty much cutting all the treble off the instrument. The bass knob, I pretty much just keep right in the middle. So I'm not really boosting or cutting. I'm just kind of letting it all just be what it is. Pickup blend, I'm using the back pickup. And then I got my volume knob here. I get a really sharp sound by playing on the tips of my fingers most of the time. I'm plucking right in front of that back pickup. So I'm using a lot of the side of my thumb, but I'm also playing on the tips of my fingers. The notes that I'm playing with my thumb are a little bit softer and not as articulate, so it's a nice blend of like articulate notes coming from the index and middle, and then a little bit of a softer sound coming from the thumb. Most of the time I'm up, I'm back here on the back pickup. But other times I do like to get a more softer touch, like. And play more on like the front pickup and then even like on the fingerboard itself for like a really soft sound. By using the back pickup, but playing more up here on the fingerboard or even in front of the front pickup here. It's more like synthy or, or stringy sounding. So you still have like the clarity of the back pickup, but it's a little bit less articulate. So yeah, there's three different areas that I like to draw the sound out of the instrument from using my right hand. There's like this back pickup area, front pickup area, and in the fingerboard area too. So when I leave the back pickup soloed and I move my hand around to these three different areas, I get a lot of different sounds and colors out of this instrument. So that's it. Hope you're well. Until next time, take care.